Welcome. Yeah, so I have several videos where I show you how to do integration by parts on a range of problems. So I'm not teaching you IBP for the first time here. Instead, I'm teaching you what's called the DI method. Uh, and this is example zero. So there will be at least a couple more examples. But yeah, I'm teaching you the DI method, which is a shortcut uh, for doing integration by parts on problems like this, where you have to do integration by parts again and again. Yeah. Okay, all right, uh, let's start by reminding ourselves of the integration by parts formula, which remember says that the integral of uh, u dv is equal to uh, uv minus the integral of um, v du, right? Okay, cool. So any integral that we're given like this, we look at it through the lens of uh, a u dv integral. That's to say that we have to pick out a u and a dv. Now, in the first so many videos where I teach you how to do integration by parts for the first time, I give you strategies on picking U and strategies on picking DV. And one of those strategies was to pick U to be the part of your integrand that after so many derivatives turns to zero. That in this case would be X cubed because its first derivative is 3X squared and then after that is um, 6X and then after that is 6 and then after that is zero, right? Okay, cool, cool. But again, I'm not teaching you IBP for the first time, so you can watch those videos to get this tip and more, yeah? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the part that we pick to be our U is the part that we differentiate, and that's the D and the DI method. And the part that we pick to be DV is the part that we integrate to get V, and so that's the I part of the DI method, yeah? Uh, the part we differentiate, the U, and then the part we integrate, the DV, yeah? Okay, 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 cool. So uh, first, because I really want you to appreciate the DI method, I'm going to do this the brutal way, which is like if we didn't have the DI method, what we'd, we have done, right? And this is what we'd, we'd have done. <laughs> okay, we would have, like we said, pick u to be um, x cubed and then um, du. This is going to be fun but brutal. So um, yeah, feel free to skip on to... Um, the last like two minutes which is the part about the di method so yeah um but yeah um okay so then dv is uh going off grid um dv see i told you it's gonna be fun uh, dv is going to be um clearly sine x dx um and then uh v then would have to be negative cos x right okay so we say that our given integral is equal to it's equal to uv uh, minus v du, so that's uh, negative um, x cubed, and this way we'll have like um, a way to check our answer. Uh, uv minus integral v du uh, minus. You should know why. I just turned it into a plus, and then three um, x squared, um, and then cos x um, dx. Right? Okay. And then we're gonna have to do it again. This time for this integral, right? Like we pick a u a dv. This is u. And that's dv, right? Okay, same old game. Um, all right, so u is um, 3x squared. And then dv. Uh, did you know that dv is also for, like, diversity visa, which is, like, a popular uh, lottery that, like, the U.S. gives out to, like, at least, I know, African countries to, like, uh, bring, like, uh, immigrants here legally. <laughs> um, all right, uh, six. All right. Um, okay, no politics. Um, dx, right? <laughs> Um, I should, uh, yeah, just keep it to math. Uh, dv, dv, what was dv? Oh, yeah, cos x. Um, I got distracted by my story. And, um, yeah, and, uh, yeah, um, okay. So there, right? All right, all right, all right. And um, so now we say, okay, okay, this is taking shape, although it's kind of boring. Uh, but then we go plus, right? Now this integral, which is in the form u dv, is equal to uv minus integral v du. And we've got all the ingredients right here, right? So uv, um, so that's uh, 3x squared um, sine x, right? Um, minus uh, integral uh, v du minus integral uh, v is sine x. And then du is 6x dx, so 6x uh, sine x. Ah, nah, my bad, y'all. Um, like, I forgot my color coding. So um, 6x uh, sine x. Dx. You didn't think I was color coding? What? Okay. All right. 6x sine x dx, right? Um, v du, yeah, yeah. Okay. And again, um, okay. Um, like uh, just uno mas integration by parts. Um, 
Yeah, okay. So so u is equal to um, 6x, right? And so du is 6gx, right? And then uh, dv is uh, equal to sine x dx, right? Um, and so v is equal to uh, negative cos x, right? So uh, to finish, we go, all right, this is equal to minus x cubed cos x uh, plus, um, plus I don't think I'm going to make it to the di method part because I'm bored um, with this. Okay, minus and then um, uh, uv. So v comes with a minus. So you see, like even color coding the plus sign, huh? Okay. Um, eh. Oh my God, Lord. Sorry, Lord Christ. Okay, plus my bad guys. uv, um, 6x cos x. But neatness matters. And then integral uh, VDU, integral uh, minus integral VDU. So minus, uh, I distributed this plus sign uh, too quickly. So remember, this uh, minus sign is going to apply to this whole thing. So uh, we also have to apply it to this part, right? And so um, it's going to affect this part, right? Okay. <laughs> this is like my seventh recording of this video. And like two recordings ago, I had to redo it because like, um, I forgot to distribute this minus sign correctly, like, and I was about to forget again. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's a plus, right? Uh, uh, but yeah, and the last recording, like, quick, quick time just quit on me. Uh, he's like, shut up, like, go to sleep. It's late. Like, what are you doing math for at this hour? Um, okay, <laughs> UV and then um, minus integral VDU, but um, we have a minus cos x right here, right? We should know. I just talked you through and then distracted you. But yeah, it's because you have to distribute this minus sign that turns into a plus. So V still has a minus. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, we could actually have the minus right there, right? So, and then I could uh, keep our integral strictly positive. Uh, okay, and I need my six. So six, uh, and it's not sine, it's cosine. Okay, um, cos x dx, all right. Um, right, 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 okay. Yes, and so we finish by reckoning that this here is just uh, 6 sine x, and so you could just back track and write uh, 6 sine x, Jesus Christ. Yes, I should go to sleep, 6 sine x, um, and then uh, plus c, right? Okay, <laughs> this should be in a neutral color, my bad guys, plus c. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, I was supposed to change my color just to respond. Okay, plus C. Yeah, okay, now we don't need all this stuff. So let's get rid of it and learn the DI method. Finally, right? Finally. Thought we'd never get to it. Okay, um, and, um, but yeah, this, after all this work, right, we should save it so that we can check our answer with it. Um, all right, so the DI method, here goes, very quick. So what you need to do is create a table, the tableau, uh, whatever, like French people uh, call it. I don't like French people. If you're like French, like unsubscribe from my channel, please. Um, okay. <laughs> le, le, whatever, however you guys talk, like even your speech is annoying. Okay. Um, he smokes too many cigarettes too. Okay. So the DI method, uh, D i right oh yeah the i is in blue the i is in blue yeah okay um the d is the part that we differentiate right and that's our u to start right and so we go like x cubed and then uh its derivative is 3x squared and the derivative of that is um 6x and then the derivative of 6x is uh 6 and the derivative of 6 is 0, nil, right? Okay, cool. All right, and the part we integrate is sine x dx, right? And so sine x, um, and then uh, its antiderivative is negative cos x. And the antiderivative of negative cos x is negative sine x. And the antiderivative of negative sine x is cos x. 
And then the antiderivative of cos x is sine x. I liked saying that part. <laughs> okay. And then... <laughs> I'm silly. Okay. And then um, next, uh, you draw this kind of a correspondence, like a diagonal um, cor correspondence. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then you're ready to write your final answer, except there's one very, very important detail you could not forget, never, never forget, um, which is uh, you have to have a plus here to start, always a plus at the top uh, left. Um, yeah. And then minus, so alternate, plus, minus, plus, and you'd continue down this way if this was like x to the 10th and you had to do this for like a long, long, long time and like, you like, like, you know, never make it to see um, the light of day again. All right. Oh, that was very uh, gloomy. Okay. Uh, so um, we go, you get it, you get it. X cubed ten times minus cos x is minus x cubed cos x. Oh, wait, it matches what we had. And then next is minus 3x squared times minus sine x is that's plus 3x squared because they both have a negative uh, 3x squared sine x. Oh, wait, it matches again. And then plus, <laughs> why didn't you tell us to do this earlier? Um, I don't know because I wanted you to appreciate it. And then next is 6x cos x plus 6x cos x, 6x cos x, okay? And then next is minus 6x sine x. Oh, this thing works, man. Minus 6x sine x. No, my, just minus 6 sine x. <laughs> my bad, y'all. Uh, and then plus c. Yeah, cool. All right. Now, in the next example, example 1 and example 2 and example 3, perhaps, I'm going to get straight to the di method. I'm not going to do all the stuff that I did prior in this example 0. But this is example 0 after all, and that's where we have fun, right? Okay. All right. Keep watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, yeah, take care.